Hey man, say man, welcome to the Game Cave where we definitely give you the news you can use, but not too much because we don't want to blow one of these suckers' shoes, you did. But um, yeah, today I just wanted to cover something that's, you know, I guess basically current, uh, you know, current pop information, if you will, current hip hop culture information, if you will. If you ain't been under a rock, you know about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef, uh, hip hop sparring match. And a recurring theme within this battle is Drake's blackness, right? And I can see that fans on both sides might not understand what's really going on. I just want to interject and bring some clarity to that part, particularly. Uh, Denzel Washington said it best. He said, culture not color let me say it again culture not color now you might not know what that mean uh let me just break it down in layman's terms uh being black you know skin wise skin skin color wise you know uh ethnicity wise doesn't automatically make you uh privy or hip to black culture for instance, if you're a black man who was adopted at three months old and raised in a all white suburban neighborhood with no black people, you may not have black culture. It's not like you automatically get black culture. You're gonna most likely have the same culture that the people you grew up around have, right? So when you hear Rick Ross call Drake white boy, when you hear Kendrick, you know, get on him, he's not talking about his skin tone. He's not making fun of him being biracial or any of that. We're just talking about the culture, you know, and within this culture of ours, black American culture, uh, you know, there's certain things that are privy to cultural members, like saying nigga, saying nigga is serious because, you know, uh, you have to really come from black culture to really use that word without it being cringeworthy. You know what I'm saying? That's like our only little thing we have. And then so when people outside of our culture use it, you know, it don't come across right. You know, and Drake obviously doesn't come from our culture. Obviously is not like us in that sense. Um, and if you remember, if you follow hip hop like I do and like we all do, then you know that Drake has said the N word with the hard R before, you know, trying to describe itself, you know, that's a total outsider move. You know what I mean? That's nobody inside would do that. And I, I, I'm so deep with the shit. I know when Jay-Z said it. I know if, if for anybody before you even say that, yes, I remember when Jay-Z said it, but see, Jay-Z's blackness what ain't in question so we're going to automatically give him the benefit of doubt and call it artsy artistic it wasn't in an interview it was within a song and we all know that jay-z is from marcy projects you know what i mean a housing project in america and if you're from america you know what a housing project is you know what i'm talking about and you know what the bottom is so we're automatically going to give jay-z the benefit of the doubt but Drake, you questionable in that area. You're not going to automatically get the benefit of the doubt. You ain't that much of a nigga to be saying no shit like that. And it wasn't within art. It was within an interview. Like, that's your first time saying this shit or something, bro. So, you know, it's his culture and, and, and just what he represents. Because Drake is like, it's like after him, all white boys will be able to come in the rap game and say, nigga, do whatever. You know, you already got these little mabus and whoever that little cat is thinking he can play around with the shit and everybody endorsing him. But, you know, it was different back in the day. M is who M is and we all respect him because he never went there. He never went there with, with his art. You dig what I'm saying? And that's why they respect him because he really was around black people. It, it comes from culture. It's, and once again, M is more from the culture than a Drake would ever be. First off, he's American and he's a ghetto American. So you already gonna have more in common with cold black folk than rich white folks, no matter what color you are, if you come from poverty. You know what I'm saying? And M actually 
has black friends and shit like that. So he knows the pain that comes behind certain shit. So he ain't going to do it just because he real like that. It's just like, man, I ain't going to do that. Just like his friends wouldn't call nobody trailer trash just because they really have friends that come from that part of poverty. But I want to get back to the point of the topic. It's all about culture, not color. Yes, Drake has African-American roots or Drake has black in him, but that doesn't make him a member of the black culture automatically. You know, pain, poverty, and the experiences of Americans, black Americans, is what makes you part of the black culture. Growing up in the ghetto, shit like that. You know, you could damn near be white or Latino and grow up under the same poverties, and you're more of a nigga than a motherfucker that's a nigga just because he black that didn't grow up with those circumstances. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I want to say on this topic. We're going to go in depth. But while you at it, man, like, comment, and subscribe if you don't know me. Hey, y'all, I kind of went off on this part. But what I really was trying to express is that I really appreciate your support. And I hope that you continue to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on this journey. It's important for me because I'm entering this podcast space as an insider. You know, I think it's very important that people who are actually inside the culture, who actually come from poverty, pain, the ghetto, and struggle are covering our culture and covering black culture. Because if we don't cover the black culture, and hip-hop culture, then we're going to leave it to the culture vultures, and we don't want that. Hey, and I might not post every day, but when I do post, I'm going to have something to say. So y'all stick around and get to know me, and I appreciate y'all. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man, and as always, love, peace, and hair grease.